So taking on risk is something very different from saving. Saving is just a way of buying the future. Investing is taking on a risk and you could lose everything with it. So what ends up happening, and, and this is, uh, you know, the Keynesian objection I think is, 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 absurd, is uh, very wrong and bad because uh, investment is a job in itself. To figure out what to do with your money in order to beat inflation is something that, you know, there are professionals out there on Wall Street that have PhDs in finance, that have enormous computers, and they have enormous staffs of PhDs and master's degrees and math nerds that are crunching numbers and figuring out how to allocate your portfolio so that you can beat inflation. And guess what? The majority of them don't beat inflation. <laughs> the majority of them can't beat inflation, not as measured by CPI, which is completely fraudulent, but um, if you remember- 14%. Yeah, that 14%. Or even you know the seven percent. Like if you look at just the increase in the money supply, which I think is a much better metric, and and this is what's reflected on the desirable goods. Like if you look at the price of real estate in Miami Beach, as Michael Saylor mentioned in your example, it goes up at around six seven percent per year on average over the last century. So that's you know if you want to live in a nice area, that's what's happening to real estate. If you want to go to the good universities, that's what's going up. It's going up at a rate that's similar to the increase in the money supply, and you can beat CPI. Um, but you know, CPI is designed so you can beat it, but you can't really beat the appreciation in the things that you actually want to buy, in the price of good food, the price of good real estate. So, and and you know, most investment professionals fail at doing that. So, what hope does a doctor or an engineer or a scientist or an athlete have in doing those things? So investment is hard, and saving should be easy. Exactly, saving is essential for us as a civilization, and. What fiat did is it took that away from us and then it forced everybody to become uh, an investor or more accurately a gambler because you're not just even, because the money itself is broken, because the money itself is constantly changing in value, investing is becoming more of a crapshoot. I mean, 